Good afternoon, everybody. It's Saturday, 2 p.m. in London, and we're going to do a 45-minute latte routine that's going to focus on all of our major muscle groups, abdominals, glutes. We'll do some upper body as well as stretch. So hopefully, even though it's a beautiful day, you can just take a moment to focus on your body shortly and then jump back on the sun. Or maybe you can watch this tomorrow when it's supposed to rain in London. Maybe you're in the U.S. and it's Anyway, we're going to use some equipment. You've got a, a resistance band, a long one, and a set of weights. So I'm going to throw those in. If you do have those to hand, grab them. If not, don't worry about it when we're using the band. Just go through the motions with your body without worrying about the equipment. Right, we're going to start standing up. Come to the end of your mat. Look at your feet. Feet hip width apart, toes and heels in a line like train tracks. And just walk forward and back from the balls of the feet to your heels. And then settle somewhere in the middle and just really drive down into those feet and lengthen through the crown of the head. Zip the core in tight, start squeezing the glutes, lifting the glutes up the backs of the legs, lifting the quad muscles at the fronts of your legs, and then inhale with the arms over your head. Exhale, come up into a balance. Just finding your balance, narrowing the waist, heels really high, and then drop your heels down as you stretch your arms out to the side. Drop your chin to your chest, round the spine, roll all the way down, just hang over those legs. Take a deep breath in, and start nodding your head, yes, and shake the head no. Good. Bend your knees, hands down, walk all the way forward, breathing out as you come forward. Lift the head, slide the shoulders down the back, zip the core in tight, and we're just going to tap the knees down to the mat, just pulling them forward, exhale, lift the back up. Inhale, lower the knees, the knees down to the back, come to the tips of the toes, and then exhale, heels to the back wall, lift the knees up. Three more times, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, last two, and lift, really pressing the mat away, one more, lift up and hold, and we're going to go straight into some push-ups. Bend your elbows, pull your elbows in tight to the sides of the ribcage, Exhale, press the mat away. Look off the end of the mat. Inhale down. Exhale up. If you need to, if you lose your form, if you lose your lemon, drop your knees down and modify it. Let's aim for four more. And three. Last two. Head, shoulders, hips all coming down in one line. One last time. And then lift the hips up nice and high. Press into your heels. Just anchor those heels down to the mat as you lift your tailbone up to the ceiling. And then walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend the knees, run the spine, roll all the way up. Just restacking one vertebra on top of the other. Shoulders on top of the ribs, head on top of the shoulders, arms up overhead. Inhale and stretch the fingertips as you come up. Just really lengthening. And then reach the arms out to the side, drop the heels down. I want you to turn your thumbs up, palms out, and just reach the arms behind you, really opening up the rib cage. And then come leading with the pinkies, take the arms down in front of you. Leading with the thumbs as you reach the arms behind. And then leading with the pinkies, reaching forward. Now let's reverse that. Turn the palms out, lead with the pinkies. As the arms go up, reaching back. And turn the palms out to the sides, back to your hands, facing in towards each other. And just reach it back. Good. Once the hands come back down to the side, the chins come to the chest, round the spine, and roll all the way down, just hanging over the legs. Really let the weight of the head hang down. Relax your neck, nodding the head. Shake the head side to side, and then sway left and right. Just turn your hips a little bit as well as the shoulders go in the opposite direction. Stay there for four, three, two, one. Back to the center, bend the knees, hands to the mat, walk forward, breathing out as you come forward. Lift the head, slide the shoulders down the back, and then turn the knee out to the side, knee towards the opposite shoulder. Alternate sides, stay there for eight, seven, Six, five, four, try to open up the hips. Three, two, one, back to your plank. Now we're gonna drop it under the body. Knee to opposite elbow for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to your plank. After that one, hold, squeeze the glutes, press them out of the way. Tap your hand to the opposite shoulder for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna drop your knees down, walk your hands back a little bit. So you're in an all fours position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, tuck your toes, and lift your knees just two inches up off the mat as you really engage into your deep abdominals. Scooping the belly button in, lifting pelvic floor. Inhale, lower the knees back down to the mat. 
Fill your lungs and then strong exhale as you lift the knees up, hollowing, feeling everything pulling up and away, up into the body. Inhale, lower the knees back down. Fill those lungs and as you lift the knees up, just scooping and hollowing everything, big pelvic floor lift, carving out the abdominals and then just drop your knees down. Flatten your feet and sit back onto your heels. Stretch your arms. Good. So we've got one more plank. We're going to come into a low plank. So I want you on your elbows, hands together, walk your legs back. Have a little stretch, looking up to the ceiling, breathing in. And then breathe out. Just peel the hips up, but keep the knees down. Tuck your tailbone under. Round out your lower back. Press the mat away. Tuck the toes under. And then lift your left knee up, breathing out. Inhale, lower down. Lift the right knee up. Strong exhale. Inhale, lower. Now, when you lower that knee down, I want you just barely touching the mat. You could slide a piece of paper out from under that knee. So lift one, drop it down, both knees on the mat, right knee up, both knees down. That kind of forces you to keep the hips low, keep really working into those abdominals. Don't let your upper body go. Keep pressing the mat away with the spine between your shoulder blades. Keep the head lifted. Stay there for four, and three, last two. And one, and then both knees come down. And again, we just sit back onto the heels. Good. All right, change position. Flip onto your back and grab your weights. So we're going to start with our roll-up. So we stretch your body long through the middle of your mat. Arms reaching to the wall behind you. Toes stretch into the wall in front. Really lengthening with your inhale. And then as you exhale, lift the hands, lift the head, peel your spine up, and stretch forward. Breathe in, realign your spine into your straight back, shoulders down, and we're gonna come down really incredibly slowly. Tilt the pelvis, scoop the belly around the spine. We're gonna hold here, take a little sip of breath, go a little lower, hold. A little sip of breath, a little lower, hold, and then slowly control all the way back down to the mat. Breathing in, and then breathing out. So try not to use momentum. So just remember the way to learn how to roll up smoothly is to roll down with absolute control, really slowing your roll down, resisting gravity, drawing your thumbs and finding that point where you feel like you're about to lose the control, but then nailing it all the way down. So just make sure you never let go. Exhale, lift the hands, lift the head, peel the spine up, stretch forward, breathe in, articulate into your straight back, and then we're gonna add a little twist. We come halfway back, Open that left arm out, look to the wall behind you. Inhale, center, open the right arm out. Inhale, center, look at your legs, squeeze the legs together, keep the feet from sliding left and right, keep the pelvis from moving. So again, the weights here are optional if you're working with an injury at all or if you have a struggle just to hold these roll down positions, don't add the extra weight unless you feel like you really want that extra challenge and that your body is up for the extra challenge. One more time, each way, breathing out. Stretch the arms along, breathe into center, last one, breathe up, stretch, and center, hold. Now we're gonna go down an inch, down an inch, just creeping your spine all the way down, breathe in, reach the arms behind you, inhale, and then exhale, hands, head, spine, curl up. Now I want you to take your weights down to the floor, either side of your ankles, and just try to slide them a little further. And slide them a little further still, and just see how low, how close you can get your chest down to the knees. Take a breath, try to really press the backs of the knees down, and then pick your weights up to slide them back, float them up, straight back, and string out the top of the head, shoulders down. We're gonna breathe out, round the spine, come halfway back, and now we're gonna cross one arm across the body, other arm reaches behind your ear. Inhale, change, exhale, hold. Same as before, no sliding between the feet. No sliding between the legs, legs really anchored, grounded into the mat. No movement through the pelvis. Long straight arms looking over the shoulder to the wall behind you. Last four, scooping the belly button in. Three, so you can go a little lower if you want that challenge. Two, and one, then take the hands in front and slowly control as you come back down to the mat. Now you leave your weights behind, sweep your arms around the side, draw your knees into your chest. Hold the backs of your ankles, roll the shoulders back, and so you can stretch your legs, trying to hold on to the backs of those legs. Now take the hands away and slowly control the descent of the legs, your upper body, and the arms. Inhale, 
Breathing out, again, right back up into that basic, grabbing the backs of the ankles, pulling the knees into your chest, trying to stretch your legs straight, draw the legs in towards the chest. So you can keep the legs there as you take the hands away and then control slowly back down to the mat. Two more times, inhale. Let's see if we can come up with the legs straight. So holding, just grabbing the backs of those ankles and then taking the hands away. And then slowly dropping all the way back down. Inhale. Last one, sweeping around, trying to close the distance between your legs and your chest, puffing the chest out, lifting the chin up, stretching those arms long, and then slowly lowering all the way down to the mat. Wrap your hands around your knees, hug your knees into your chest, and rock side to side. Good. Lift your knees up to tabletop, button your ribs to hips. Neutral spine, core strong, and we're just going to do some mobility quickly. Drop the knees to the right as the head turns left. Exhale, zip the core in tight as the knees come back to the midline. Inhale, knees to the left, to the right. Breathing out, draw everything back in. One more time each way. Inhale and exhale. Last one, breathe in, turn the head, turn the knees, twist the spine. Exhale back to the center. Now find your weights again. They're behind you somewhere. And reach your fingertips up to the ceiling. So you're in a uh, dead boat position. It's like your tabletop position with the legs, hands over the shoulders. Lift your head, look towards your thighs, and then reach your arms and legs out. Inhale, tuck the knees to the chest. Exhale, reach. Double leg stretch. Knees and feet should be together. Breathe in to tuck the knees, breathe out to stretch. Good, stay there for six. Chin tied to that chest, so the weight of the head is forward. Last four. Draw the belly button down. If the head starts to strain, just take the head down to the mat. The mat, the last three. And two. Hold the last one. I want everyone to drop their head down to the mat. Sink your ribs down. Slowly lower the arms, lower the legs. Keep that lower back close to the floor. Hold, and then exhale, lift all the way back up. Inhale, slowly lower the arms and the legs, breathing out, and then inhale, lift back up. Exhale, lower, hold, and then lift, and lower, hold, and lift. Now hold there. We're going to reach one arm and the opposite leg out to the side, like pages of books. Let's take that right arm, your left leg out to the side, pelvis stays level, shoulders stay level, Exhale as you come back to that starting point. Left arm, right leg out and back. I'm going to turn myself so you can see a little better what's happening. Opposite arm and leg out. One hand, one leg, staying perfectly still. Up and back, keeping the core strong. Out and back. Last one. Out and back. Good, now we're gonna drop the weights. Keep the toes pointing to the ceiling. Curl your shoulders up off the mat. And then hold the right leg as the left leg goes down. Switch the legs. And switch. Stay here for six and five. Working towards long straight legs, lower back pressing into the mat, shoulders away from the ears. Last four, three, two, and one. Little change now, you have to just almost clap through your legs. Take the hands together. Stay there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the shoulders back. Quick reset. We're going to do one more scissor variation. We're going to add a torso to it. So hands behind the head, elbows wide, toes up, shoulders up, lower back stays down into the mat, and we twist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, these are so good. We're gonna do one more set. Again, go eight and seven. Really get the shoulder high up off the mat. Turn the torso, last four, get the legs straight. Three, two, and one. Take the shoulders down, draw the knees in. Just make a couple circles with your knees. Both ways. Good, now take your hands behind these, chin to your chest, roll yourself up to sitting. Pick up your band and flip over to all fours. Now, if you need to, take a quick moment to have a sip of water when we change positions. 
So the band is optional with this one. It's gonna make it harder. It's also sometimes a little bit tricky for some people to set it up. So if you don't wanna bother, you can really get the same or similar effect without the band. We fold it, your band in two, lay it across your mat. So the top of your band, that open end is somewhere towards the middle of your mat, and the loop end is towards the end of your mat. I'm placing my left knee on top of that band and right foot into the loop. I'm then extending the right leg back. So just holding there, shoulders over the hands, both hip bones point to the mat, zip the core in tight, flex your foot, and then lift the leg up and down. Breathe out and in. We're gonna go through about five variations on this side. The whole time I want your back to be straight. I mean, imagine there's a string at the back of your head, a string between your shoulder blades, and another string at your lower back, all lifting up to the ceiling. Stay there for four, three, two, and hold the next one. Second variation, we bend and extend. Knee drops to the mat, heel stays high in line with the hip. Stay there for four, and three, last two, Extend and hold. Take the toe down to the mat. I'm going to point the toe so the top of the foot is resting on the mat. We sweep the leg out to the side. Sweep it out to the right. Like you're trying to dust crumbs off the end of the mat. And then circle that leg around. So we sweep up and around. Again, no movement through the upper body. Think about your, your spine lifting between the shoulder blades, the head lifting, lower back lifting. Last two. And one. Take the foot back down to the mat. Zip the core up and away. Tap the foot out. And in, up and over, up and back. This time getting a little lift. Each time the toe touches the mat or the floor, gives you a little bolt of energy. Lift, tap, lift, giving you that workout through the glutes. Stay there for four. And three. Last two. And one. Now your foot should be off the edge of the mat to the corner of that mat. We're going to turn the toe out. Keep the right hip pointing to the mat, both arms straight, and then lift the right leg up. And down. Breathe out to lift. Breathe in to lower. Six more. So your leg is at a long diagonal, so the wider than your hip. Each time the toe coming down to the corner of your mat, going up to the top corner of the room. Stay there for three and two. Hold the last one up. Stay there for four, three, two, one. Then drop your right knee. Sit back onto your heels. Stretch out your back. Stretch out your arms. Good. Drag your hands back. Just shake out any tension through those wrists. We're going to slide your band across, which is changing legs. So the right knee is going to pin your band, which creates a loop. We put around your left foot. Try to have it fairly wide over the arch of the foot. If it's bunched up, it might sort of cut off that circulation and be slightly less comfortable. But whichever way, don't worry about it too much. It doesn't have to be perfect. Good, so hands under the shoulders, left hip points to the mat, right hip over the right knee, zip the core in tight. And we're gonna start lifting that left leg up, foot flexed, So there, eight. Think about those three strings, one at the back of the head, one between the shoulder blades, one at your lower back. Stay here for four, three, two, one. Hold the last one, now bend your knee, keep the foot high, extend the leg. Bend and extend. Try to keep that tension in your band. But don't let it kind of fall off your foot. Keep that foot high. So the hair for four, three, two, and one. Drop the foot down, point the toes, zip the core up and away. Sweep the end of your mat and then circle. Sweep up and around. Same there for six, five, four, three, Two, make each one count. One, toe comes back to the midline, back in line with the hip. Now we tap up and over, up and back, and out, and in. Keeping that energy, energy in the movement. So we're not sweeping now, we're bouncing. Up and over, up and back. No movement through the spine, no movement through the pelvis. Stay there for four, and three. Last two, don't let the head hang. Last one, we pull the foot off the edge of the mat, slide the shoulders down, press your mat away. Imagine you're ripping your mat in two, so just to really engage your upper back as you lift that leg up to the top left corner of the room. Exhale up, inhale down. Stay there for six and five. Last four, three, 
two. I want you to hold the next one up. Stay there for six. Five, stretch the leg longer, lift it higher. Three, two, and one. Just drop your left knee down, toes together. Sit back onto your heels, open your knees out, and slot your ribs between your knees, stretching your arms to the end of your mat. And big exhale. Then slide your hands back. Wrap the hands behind you, lift your arms just to stretch the back. And then reverse it, palms out, rounding the spine. Okay, knees together, and we're going to pop the band away, and pick up your weights again. Come back to your abdominals for a moment before we go into our shoulder bridge. So, plus everything just generally flows from one thing to the next, maybe a couple little breaks when you really need them, but we try to keep flowing uh, from one exercise to the next. So, we're in our C curve. Weights just above the knees, elbows that wide, shoulders down, fingertips touching, breathe out, down an inch, and up an inch. Tuck and lift. So making a circle with those arms. Exhale and scooping your abdominals. Imagine you're hugging a big ball, and that spine is curved around that lower curve of that ball. The belly button is curved inward to make space for that big ball. Stay there for three and two. Hold the last one, turn to your left. Left arm reaches out like it's sliding along a shelf. Inhale back to the center. Turn the right arm out, staying in your C curve, buttoning your ribs towards your hips, drawing the belly button in, adding pelvic floor lift. Exhale and inhale one more time each way. Twist and center. Last one and back. And then before we break, we lift the arms over your head. Exhale, inhale. If you need to modify this, do single arms, alternating your arms. But if you can, try to lift both arms. Get those arms doing a little circle over your head for three and two. Last one. We hold the arms up there for four, three, two, and one. Hands back to the knees. Stretch the back. Inhale. And then exhale back into your C curve, scooping and hollowing. Shoulders down. Turn to the left. Elbows wide. Down an inch. And up an inch. Scoop and hollow the abdominals. They've got nice room scoop. Carving out. With each tuck of the tailbone. Stay there for four. Movement comes from your lower back, not your shoulders. Three. Last two. Hold the last one. Breathe out. Lift the arms overhead. Get an out of peripheral vision. Inhale down again. You've got that option to alternate the arms to modify this. Stay there for four. And three. You can also drop the weights if you feel like it's too much. Last two. And one. Good, hands come back to the knees, quick stretch, shoulders down, inhale, last set, tilt, scoop, round the spine, turn to the right corner of the room, shoulders down, elbows out, down an inch, up an inch, tuck, and lift, first six, make sure your shoulders face the hands, shoulders turn into that right corner of the room, last three, and two, hold the last one, breathe out, arms overhead, Inhale down, try to stay with me for the last five. Keep the feet stuck to the mat, four, so you lower your chest at all, or lower that lower back, scooping core in a little tighter. Last two, and then hold the last one up for four, three, two, and one, hands back to the knees, and stretch out your back. Good. So just kind of maybe shift yourself slightly forward on your mat, so your feet are near the end. We're gonna round the spine, reach your arms up, but come all the way down to the bed. And the fingertips go up to the ceiling. Now you slide your feet in a little closer so your heels are directly beneath your knees, but close to your hips. I'm gonna press your lower back down into the mat, tilting the pelvis, pubic bone curling in towards your chest. Hold there for a big breath and breathing into the sides of your rib cage. And then as you breathe out, start peeling your spine slowly up off the mat. The tailbone comes up first, then the hip bones, lower back, middle back, one vertebra at a time, coming all the way up to those shoulders. Now pull your knees a little tighter, squeeze the glutes to get the hips a little higher, and lift your left knee up. Keep the knee bent. Knee bent 90 degrees. Drop that foot slightly, and we're going to lower the hips down. Exhale, lift back up. So we're focusing on our right glute here. I want you to slightly lift your toes on your right foot. So we're balancing more on that heel than on the front of the foot. Stay there for six and five. Left knee stays pointing up to the ceiling, four, 
three, last two, and one. Exhale, each lift. Now hold the last one. Tap your left foot down to the mat. Exhale, lift it back up. Inhale, lower. And lower those toes on that right foot now so the foot is flat. Keep that left leg moving for four. Keep the hips as high as you can. Last two. Last one. And now we change. Left foot comes down. Lift the hips a little higher, narrow the waist. Lift the right knee up. Keep that bend in the knee. Lift the toes on your left foot and then drop the hips down and up. Making sure you get the full range of motion. Each time the hips come down, I want them to touch the mat and then lift as high as you can. Really finding some space between the mat and your hips with each lift. Stay there for eight, seven, six. Hands just staying over the shoulders. Four, three, two, and then we hold the last one up. Drop those toes down on that left foot. Tap your right toe. Exhale, lift the knee back up and tap. And let's see if you can get your hips a little higher, zip the core a little tighter. Stay there for four and three. Last two. And one, finish with the right foot down. Keep the hips high in your shoulder bridge. Turn your weights and we're gonna take the elbows out to the sides. Elbows bent, 90 degrees. Hips are still up off the mat. Exhale, lift the weights up. Elbows to the mat and then just tap your weights together. Pull your knees a little closer. Get engaged in your inner thighs. Stay there for four. Tap, elbows bent and extend. Two and one. Now reach the arms all the way behind you until the hands, back to the hands, touch the floor. Lift the hips even higher. Pull your knees closer together and then melt your spine down. Rib cage down first, middle back second, tilting the pelvis to get through every joint of your lower back, hip bones and tailbone down last. Take the hands back to your sides, come up onto your toes. So you walk your toes in close to your hips, heels high up off the mat, press your lower back down. Keep the bone curling in towards your chest, hold there for a big inhale. And then as you exhale, Start peeling the spine all the way up once again. Slow exhale all the way up. Pull the knees in tight, button your ribs towards your hips. Float your fingertips up to the ceiling, still with the weights in the hand. If you want that extra element of weight, float your right leg up. Toe pointing, leg long and straight, small circles. Eight, seven, nothing else should move. Six, look down at your left knee, make sure it doesn't wobble. That's four, three, Two, and hold, reverse your circles, eight the other way. Seven, stretch, lengthen that right leg. Last four, three, two, and hold. Now flex your foot, lower the arm, lower the legs. Exhale, lift back up. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Stay there for three, and lift. Last two, and lift. One more, flex the foot as it comes down towards the mat. Point the toes, lift, hold, stretch a little higher, and then drop your right toe. Relax your shoulders, change sides out, big movement of the pelvis. Send that left leg up to the ceiling, narrow the way, small circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Lift a little higher, reverse the circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and hold, flex the foot, lower the arms, lower the leg, exhale. Everything comes back together. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And remember, the weights are optional. If they're causing any pain through the hands, drop them. Stay there for six, and five. Use the breath. Last three, two, and one, take that left hand onto the mat, lift the hips a little higher, and then just reach your arms out to the side, like a big fly. Back to your hands, pin down to the floor with those weights, then exhale, lift them back up. Arms stay straight, just straight out to the sides. Knees stay close together, hips lifting up off the mat, tying your shoulder bridge, still on those toes. Stay here for four and three. Exhale with each lift, try to narrow the waist as those hands come back together. Last one, and then turn the palm back as the hands down, reaching to the wall behind you, arms just up close to your ears, and then melt your rib cage down first, middle back second, really tilt the pelvis to get through every joint of your lower back before the hip bones and tailbone come down. 
Take your weights around your knees and hug your knees into your chest. Good. Okay, let's drop the weights, chin to chest, roll yourself up to sitting, extend your legs out in front of you, just slide down your legs. A little stretch through the hamstrings, folding over those legs, chin to your chest, right ear to right shoulder, just to stretch the neck a little bit, and then left ear to left shoulder. Sit up tall, feel free to grab a quick sip of water, I'm going to work on some upper body with the band. So... Weights to the side. We're going to sit with our legs crossed, but knees out. If you struggle to sit with a straight back with crossed legs, you can either have your legs out in a V or a diamond shape, or you can sit a little higher up onto a cushion or a block of some sort. But I want you sitting on the middle of your band, and just make sure that you have equal tensions on either side. The band is equal lengths. Maybe lifting and adjusting if you need to. Now think about your alignment. So... Shoulders, ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the ribs, ribs right over the pelvis. Try to have your pelvis level. So you've got your sit bones and your tailbone all on that mat. It's like a little tripod. You've got the waist narrow, everything kind of pulling up and in. Pelvic floor lifting up and away. Breathing into the sides of the rib cage. So just holding this position may be a little bit of a workout before we start adding the arm movements. Good. Now we take the arms out to the side, shoulders down, sit the core, little circles back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more set. This direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And hold. Two circles, or two sets of eight the other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Hold your tension through your abdominals, not in your neck. So just tighten those abdominals if your neck starts to build up that tension. That's three, two, and one. Just a quick drop of the arms, a lengthening of the spine and the neck. Arms back to shoulder height, and then exhale up. Inhale out to T. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. I always like to add a little pelvic floor lift as you're lifting those arms. Because that's just going to make you engage your deep abdominals, which is going to support your lower back, which is what we're trying to build upon as we work on these shoulders. Stay there for five and four. Close the eyes if you need to concentrate. Three, last two, and one. Hold, and then slowly lower your arms out to the sides all the way down to the mat and circle your shoulders back. Circle them forward and take your hands out in front of you. Really puff the chest, zip the abdominals in. Again, find that lifting through the abdominals, lengthening through the top of the head. Add your pelvic floor lift as you lift the arms. Your wrists stay close together. Feel the muscles that run along your spine on either side, rippling, strengthening each lift of the arms. Stay there for six. Again, tension. Stays through the abdominals, not in the neck. Last three. And two. Hold the last one up. Upper arms next to the and then elbows into a W shape. Down to your ribcage. Exhale, lift it back up. Inhale, elbows into that W. And lift for six. Five. Last four. Three. Two, strong exhale, try to keep your chin up. Hold the last one up for four, three, two, and one. Keep the arms straight as you lower all the way back down to the mat. Just circle out any tension through the shoulders and the neck. Reverse your circles. Now, just lay that band out in front of you. Pick it up close to your hips. Pull your elbows into the front of your rib cage. Roll your knuckles up to the ceiling. And then reach the arms out to the corners of the room and bend, extend, and bend. Nice wide collarbone, think core as well as alignment. Stay there for six, and five, four, three, two. Hold the last one up, two sets of eight, little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the band, let's wrap the hands behind you, fingertips like laced together behind your back, and then lace the hands in front, and rounding out your shoulders, stretching out the muscles of your back. Hands on the knees, sit up nice and tall, let's take 
the band away and fold it in two. I'm going to come up onto your knees and hold the band behind you. So you can either kind of stand on your knees like this. So my lower arm is holding that band. My upper arm is right next to the ear. Ribs to hips, chin up, extend and bend. That lower arm staying kind of stuck to the lowest vertebrae in your spine, down to that tailbone. Stay here for six and five. Four, three, two. I'm going to do a few more. That didn't feel like quite enough. I'm going to add another six. And five, four, three, two, and one. So you can just twist the band to change sides without letting it go. Shoulders down, chin up. We're going to go for two sets of eight. Eight. Upper arm stays close to that ear. Really squeeze that muscle. Extend the arms. Hold it for a little pause at the top of the motion. Good, keep your chin up, keep lengthening through the top of the head. Eight more, and seven, six. Keep the core strong, ribs to hips. Four, three, two, and one. And then to stretch to finish, arms up overhead. Maybe just slide a little more length, fan down to your hips. Arms up overhead, reaching behind. Two more. Up and back. And all the way back. Good. Just roll your shoulders up, shake out any tension. And actually, let's use this band for our first side lying exercise. We're just going to briefly do the side lying and then focus on some more work on the upper back. So lay the band over the top of your knees. Cross it underneath, hold it on, on top, so you've got a double wrap around those knees, and then come into your tabletop position, but flipped onto its side. So your head, your shoulders, and your hips are all in one line at the back edge of your mat. Your knees and your feet are in one line at the front edge of the mat. Make sure that top knee is right on top of the lower knee, that it's not kind of tucked back at all. Start lifting the knee and the foot. Zip the core in, lift your pelvic floor with each lift of the knee. Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep your neck nice and long. Stay there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold the next one up, double time pulsing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can take that knee any higher. Last four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Feet together, knees together. Let's lock the feet together. Just open the knees up. Two sets of eight, seven, six, five. No rocking back, no, z no using momentum. Keep the neck long, keep the spine long. Good, eight more, eight. Again, making each one count, really pressing up into that band. The legs with each leg, last four. Three, two, hold the last one, four sets of eight, double time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a little higher. Last four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop the knees back together, a little bit of patch, you built up some tension in that top leg, and then drop your band. Stretch your legs out, roll your shoulders back, Heels together, toes turn out, really lengthen from the top of the head to the tips of the toes, zip the core in tight. Knee to ceiling, toe to ceiling, flex foot, heels back together. So the knee to the ceiling, reach that toe to the ceiling, flex foot, lengthen as you draw the heels back. Two more in this direction. And reach, last one, bend, extend, and reach. Now reverse point the toes, stretch a little longer before we add the movement. Lift the legs straight up. Bend the knees, sweep the toe along the lower leg, pressing that lower leg up into that toe to get a little more friction between the two. Lift, bend, and sweep. Last one, lift, bend, and sweep. Now, as the leg comes down, I want you to drop your head, zip the core in tight, draw the abdominals up, just lower the feet down and up. Breathe in and top shoulder back, neck long. Stay there for four and three. No daylight between the legs. Two, and then just hold the last one, squeeze the legs tight, and then drop the feet down to the mat. And we bend the knees and flip straight over to the other side. 
Okay, find your band. I'm gonna add a little wrap. Band over the top of the knees, cross under, hold. Onto your side, prop your head up, shoulders back. Feet together, knees together, and then lift and lower up and down. So head, shoulders, and hips all in one line, just along the back edge of your mat. Knees and feet lined up at the front edge of your mat. Don't let the foot go any higher than the knee. Don't let the pelvis rock back at all. Exhale with each lift. Do the first six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, double time. Pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little higher. Last four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feet together. Keep the feet stuck together and lift the knee up and down. Lift and lower. Again, find that hollowness through the abdominals. Add a little pelvic floor lift as we lift the knee. Just working on our deep abdominal muscles as we work into this, these hip stabilizers. Stay so there. Ten, nine, eight. Keep your neck relaxed. Six, five. Four, three, two, hold it up, pulse it. Four sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can go any higher. Last four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knees back together, a little bit of a hit on that top leg. Let's get the blood flowing. Drop your band. Stretch your legs out, turn your toes out, lengthen through the top of the head, squeeze the glutes a little bit. And then knee to ceiling, toe to ceiling, flex foot, heels zip back together. Knee points to the ceiling, toe to the ceiling, heels back together. Just getting those knees moving, getting the hips moving. Enjoy the strengthening, enjoy the stretching. Last one in this direction. Point the toes, zip the heels together, stretch everything a little longer. And then reverse the movement. Lift that top leg, bend the knee. Try to lift your lower leg up off the mat. Almost kind of pushing that lower leg up into that toe to get a little more friction. Lift the leg, leg straight, bend the knee, sweep them together. Last one, bend and sweep. Now extend your arm. We're just going to lower the legs down and up. Take your hands, your lower abdominals, zip everything in tight. No daylight between your legs. Stay there for four. Find your balance. Three, two, and one, drop the feet down, just fold over onto your front. Step your feet apart, pick up your weights, elbows out, 90 degrees. Zip the core in tight, tilt the pelvis slightly so your tailbone is a little closer towards your heels. The hip bones are slightly lighter on the mat than the pubic bone, and then lift your chest up. Elbows stay bent and lower. Lift and lower. Imagine you're wearing a neck brace. So the head can't go any faster than your shoulders. I don't want to see that looking up. So that tends to, you think if you're lifting your head, you're lifting your chest. The movement of the spine is what I'm after, not the movement of your head. And also think about lengthening as much as lifting. So reaching from the tailbone right through the top of that head. Last one. And lower now, extend your arms out into a Y. Pop your, your weights up if you're using the weights. And then see if you can lift the arms and the chest. Now, this is quite advanced with the weights. If you want to just drop the weights, leave them there and just lift the arms up. But if you feel like you can add the arm, the weight without getting into your lower back, give it a go. But again, listen to your body and try to err on the side of caution. I'm going to actually pop my weights down. Stay there for four, three, two, and one. Sweep the hands back along your sides. Last exercise. Chest up, legs up, pin the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lower the feet, lower the hands, lower the head. Exhale, lift the legs, turn the uh, shoulder blades together, pinkies up to the ceiling. Inhale down. Two more. Rotate the arms, holding the shoulder blades together, palms reaching towards each other behind your back as you lift those legs up. And then back down. Last one. Reaching from the top of the head to the tips of the chest. Hold there for four. Three, two, and one. Take your hands under your shoulders. Sit back onto your heels. Stretch out your back. Good. 
Good. Now just roll onto your back. We're just going to use your hands today rather than the band. Now you just hold the back of your right leg as you extend your left leg out and flex and point that right toe. Keeping the shoulders down, keeping that head down. Hold the leg in your right hand to drop it out to the side for your inner thigh stretch. And then just cross that leg across the body for the outer thigh stretch. Right hand to the right hip to keep the hip down and circle your foot. Circle the other way. And flex the foot, pull the leg in, really kick the heel out. Get that knee nice and straight. And then take the leg back to the center. Get one more pull through the middle. And then drop the right leg, left leg up to the ceiling. Flex and point. Try to find a little space under your lower back. Hold the flex foot, leg is out to the side for your inner thigh stretch. Right hand to the right hip to keep that hip from rolling. And then cross your leg across the body, switch hands on the back leg, left hand sinks your left hip down to the mat. Circle your foot on that left leg. And then just flex the foot, kick the heel away, pull that leg in. And then come back to the center, just cross your ankle over your knee. Pull the foot in, press the opposite knee away. And then take your hands around the back of the thigh. Switch the legs, left ankle over the right knee or right ankle over the left knee, whichever one you're on, just change. Pull the foot in, press the knee out. And then both feet down to the mat, roll yourself all the way over. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, come all the way up into a downward dog, lift the tail into the ceiling. And then walk your hands back to your feet, just kind of over legs as you wrap around the back so the ankles nod the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Bend the knees, scoop the abdominals in, and articulate your spine back up to standing. Shoulders on top of ribs, head on top of shoulders, arms up, and float into your balance. Good. Now, don't you just feel better? Well done. We're back next Monday morning and a couple of changes with the schedule next week. So stay posted, um, check out our Instagram, follow us, and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. See you soon.